in the name of allah the beneficent the merciful assalamu alaikum dear students i expect you are very curious about the learning the english okay so today we are going to study we are going to learn second poem of the textbook the neem tree so we will understand the neem tree and its qualities and different between the uh, neem tree and uh, person's qualities here so now begin that the neem tree it's a poem written by mrs elsa qazi the german wife of allama qazi the late vice chancellor of the university of sin in this poem she she also portrayed the qualities of the neem tree what are the qualities of the neem tree and on the other hand what are the qualities of a person uh, when he suffer uh, in his life so the neem tree the neem tree is a more a poem defined or rendered by the mrs elsa qazi the german wife of allama qazi the neem tree consists of a, a variety of the qualities what are the qualities it is the neem tree that bear the burning of the sun all the day to burning the sun or rays of all all the day to ease or to provide comfort to the suffering or wanderers okay so it also protect from the scorching beams of the sun and provide a uh, to comfort to the people who are in hard day so it is another quality that it is the name tree that is stayed fast it is the name tree that is unafraid unafraid it means it is a bold and brave it bear the burning heat of all the day it also bear the wind as well it also it is also stayed fast without a drop of water but on the other hand there is a person who is unable to bear the sufferings sorrows worries in his or her life so the name to the poetess of the poem the name to want to a uh, clear fires want to give the message that the name tree as the name tree is bold and brave and unafraid like this the man can be bold and afraid and brave the man can also adopt the qualities uh, that is rendered from the name tree okay as the people whenever they face the difficulties in their life they lose their hope and surrender okay they give up they are not determined they they are not bold to face the fate or fortune or difficulties of life so the poetess give the message that the like the name tree as the name tree bear the heat to provide the shelter to provide the uh, ease to provide the comfort to people like the name tree people can also be stayed fast people can also be a bold and brave uh, to bear the hardships of life they can they can also protect a uh, suffering from hardship they can also help the other okay so this is the also a difference between the qualities of neem tree how the neem tree bear the burning of the uh, heat heat all day and provide comfort to people like this it is the man who can also uh, provide a uh, shelter protect uh, to the uh, sufferings who uh, bear the hardship of life okay the message of the poem is that the man can be strong 
the man can be unafraid the man can be a brave and bold to bear the hardship or difficulties of life or it, he or she can be determined like uh, the poetess gave us the example of the neem tree so here i also read out here the stanza by stanza you can also understand by this sense is she also says my lovely neem she praises dead intercept sun scorching beam yet bear the heat all day without the rain's refreshing spray you chants the wondrous boy away without soothing shade soothing shade it means calm okay and is stayed for so in this stanza the poet is saying that uh, you are lovely name tree you bear the heat all of the sun okay all the day and even without the uh, rains refreshing spray okay you cannot even in the months even in the year you cannot receive a rain to refresh a uh, your cell but you are steadfast but you are brave but you are bold to uh, provide a shelter to the sufferings who be are in the hard day now the second one how strong you are how on a fred how strong you are or how on a fred means you are the bold and brave how green the leaves in spite of all due to strongness and braveness your leaves are green the midday flames that burn burning fall upon uh, the unprotected head even in the uh, heat your uh, leaves are burning but you cannot give up but you cannot uh, accept the failure could man be bold here it mean that the cheese pointing uh, at to the people that you can also be bold and brave like the neem tree so come here could man be bold as do do and rise avoid the earth with the sheltering arm to save the suffering ones from harm from sorrows poverty and vice as i already i explained to you because the people can be bold and brave they also can be suffer hardships and difficulties of life they also can help the poor help the suffering help the so- sorrows okay in their life though though sacrifice they can also sacrifice their life for others okay could men be stayed fast and like do here is a uh, poet is also pointing at at the men can also be stayed fast or determined as you are my lovely name face every fate would not be they can also face every a uh, fortune every uh, difficulty hardships okay in their life fulfillment of life's loftiest dreams and these are the very noble dream of their life my lovely name okay so it was a name tree you also understand the uh, who has written the name tree uh, written by so called the german wife of allama ayukazi who was allama ayukazi he was a vice chancellor of the sin university okay so it was uh, she also defined that the qualities of neem tree on the other hand also okay admonish to the people also she suggested to the people that you can also follow the footsteps of the neem tree you can also adopt the qualities of neem tree to face the difficulties hardship of life or you can also be determined or stayed fast okay so it was a neem tree now here uh, go to the an exercise what in exercise ask it so here the difficult words are explained intercepts means to cross each other scorching means very hot the scorching beam of the sun spray 
mean tiny drops of water blown by the wind okay as you know that the uh, rainfall wo me sorrow or grief so what is the meaning of wo me sorrow or grief soothing means calm silent quiet or comforting fulfillment it means completion or carrying out loftiest is in uh, loftiest is used here in the sentence means very noble or it means a very great dream or in other word high so here is also description you all have seen the name tree it is a very common in silk it grows all over the country the poetess who was a german lady and who had lived much of her life in since sees what thick growth the name tree has how beautiful and useful it is the good work it does is an example which human beings should follow as i already told you that how why did she give the example of neem tree because as uh, she gave as the example of neem tree that the human beings are a person can follow or adopt the qualities of the neem tree so here exercise answer the following question after reading the poems okay so how can the neem tree prevent the burning heat of the sun from troubling us so very simple the neem tree i can prevent the burning heat of sun with his soothing shade or with his soothing arms means so now the second one why does the poet is say that the neem tree is unafraid unafraid means bold the poet is said that the neem tree is unafraid it is bold because it bear the burning heat of the all the day because it is steadfast because it is determined okay because it it doesn't surrender or give up now third one what does the neem tree look like the neem tree look like brave and bold or the neem tree look like unafraid you can also say that how does the poetess compare the name tree to men the poetess compare name tree that is stronger in quality to men because it is the name tree that doesn't give up but on the other hand it is the man who give up when he or she face the difficulty just the answer to the question here now question number 5 what according to the poet is the highest aim of life this is a very question is in the end so the highest the according to the poet is the highest aim of life is to face the fate or is to face the fortune that occur in his or her life this is us. okay so because you also understand the name tree its purpose and its uh, poetess okay how okay how she gave the example uh, the name tree to follow Uh, by the person okay so now your uh, assignment your homework is you can also uh, produce uh, this moral lesson or qualities uh, between the name tree and the person in your own words this is your assignment okay thank you my dear students